So this is a very, very premature baby blue spotted mask gray. My name is Naomi Clark Shen and I'm a wrestler called The Colonizer as well as a marine scientist. I've always loved wrestling, so I started watching it when I was nine years old. It's a fun way to be unpolitically correct and address some issues in society. I was actually born and raised in Singapore and I, I consider myself very well integrated into the community here. When I came out of university and went into the workforce in Singapore, there were a lot of comments to me about colonialism. This match of the night, it is the colonizer against Luna Ines and the colonizer coming in. I think that both the research and the wrestling nurture different aspects of my personality. With the wrestling, I get to be very creative, let loose in a very humorous way. In my science work, I get to be curious, but I have to be very disciplined in how I conduct myself. Within Singapore, stingrays are consumed in a local delicacy dish. And our recent surveys revealed around five times more stingrays than sharks at our fishery ports. But despite this, they get far less conservation attention compared to sharks, and a lot of them are threatened. So stingrays are what we call mid-ranking predators. They eat a lot of smaller creatures, thus helping to keep their numbers under control. But a lot of bigger predators will also eat them. So stingrays are an important source of food for other marine creatures as well. So if we over-exploit them and take too many from the ocean, then this can disrupt the food chain and have a big impact on the ecosystem. I'm looking at the biology and ecology of stingrays. And this will give me insight to their lives in general, but also how vulnerable they are to fisheries. A private stingray supplier brings me the species that I need. Okay, we've got fishes from two areas today. Um, one from northeastern Malaysia and one from uh, uh, central Indonesia. Okay. Okay, this one is called with traps. Okay, great. Yeah. I weigh and measure the animals, and then I start the dissection. So I remove the stomach to look at what they eat. This small part here is the stomach. Basically, by looking at what they eat, we can understand what habitat they live in and also what animals need to be protected so that stingrays still have access to food. I can already see that we have some crustaceans like prawns along with the worms. I find them in, in huge amounts. So they're very dependent on prawns and shrimps for their food. And then I remove the vertebrae, uh, which is what I use to age them. If I look here, I can see one, two, three, and possibly four bands, around four years old, I would say. As well as this, I take a little fin clip so that we can run DNA analysis to confirm the species. So the research hopes to uncover how vulnerable the species is. And based on these findings, which will take the next few months, we can think about suitable recommendations to make. A lot of people think that the work we do is, is a threat to fishermen and other stakeholders, but they shouldn't see it as a threat. We both want the same things, right? Fishermen want healthy populations of stingrays. I want healthy populations of stingrays. So we have the same end goal. My research and wrestling require me and others to have these difficult conversations. And I find that a lot of people shy away from talking about contentious issues. But if we did talk about it, we would make a lot more progress. And we can do it in a constructive and fun way. <laughs>